Jumping jacks. Come on. Go. Sit. Sit. Dust. Go. Get it up. Get it up. Go! 
Chase that. And up. Do. Set. Net. Dos. Dos. Look up. We do. Hop. Do. And up. Do. Set. Net. Dos. Dos. Look up. We do. Hop. Do. Chase that. Double punch. Front jab. Cross. And up. Do. Set. Net. Dos. Dos. Look up. We do. Hop. Yo. Chase that. And up. Do. Set. Net. Dos. Dos. Look up. You do. Hop. Yo. Change that. Okay. This time. Tree up. Horse body set. Jimmy. Ha! Punches. No. Do. Set. Net. Dos. Dos. Look up. Do. Hop. Yo. Low block. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Dos. Yos. Look up. You do. A hop. Yo. Body block. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Dos. Yos. Look up. You do. A hop. Yo. Face block. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Dos. Yos. Look up. You do. A hop. Yo. Knife hand block. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Dos. Yos. Look up. You do. A hop. Yo. Okay. Ten push ups on your knuckles. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Dos. Yos. Look up. Do. Uh -huh. Go. Okay, welcome to class again today. Today we are going to work on Mr. Heavy Bag. All these techniques can be done without the heavy bag, but today I'm going to show you a little bit what it looks like when we actually hit something. So, after you're warmed up, uh, we will set up to the heavy bag. Fighting stance is both feet somewhat pointing forward, either on a 45 or the back foot at a 90, so that we're like this, or maybe like this. And fighting stance, fists are up, chin level, or up to the ear, fist right at about chin level so you can see right over top of your fist. Okay, so in a fighting stance, our jab is our first technique. It comes from the shoulder, drives from the foot up to the shoulder, and snaps straight out. So the fist does a little bit of a turn right at the end, pop, as it makes contact. Okay, so the jab looks like this. Hana! Do! Set! Net! Alright, and the other side, show from the back, drives from the foot up through the shoulder, snaps out with a bit of a twist. Hana! Do! Set! Net! Okay. And now the cross. Again, starts at the foot. The foot drives forward and it comes up through the hips to the shoulder and punches out with a twist of the fist. And we always land with our two biggest knuckles. So, fists are up, hand by the chin, and up. Do. Set. Net. And change stance. So 
remember, whenever we do our cross, the opposite hand comes to the face for protection. So when we do a double punch, jab, cross, the jab comes straight to the face to protect us. Fists always at the chin, fighting stance, feet forward, hips forward, jab, punch, and up. Go. Set. Net. And change stance. change stands. Okay, really important to keep your fists up at all times. Even in competition, I don't like seeing your hands down here flailing about. We want our fists up at all times, protect our head, most important part. Okay, okay, this time we're gonna work on our front kick. So there's two parts of the, three parts of the foot that we actually kick from. Let me correct that, there's four. But right now, we're worried about the ball of our foot. So we curl our toes back, and the ball of our foot is what we're kicking with. That's a hard part of the foot. That's what we're going to kick with the front kick. So front kick comes from the back leg, comes straight up with the knee, kicks out with a snap. The front kick can also be used to the groin, where it comes with a flat foot and comes straight up. But what we're going to be doing with the heavy bag, our toes are pearled back. So what I want you to do is, just for practice, curl your toes back. Get used to that contact. That's how we're going to strike the bag. Toes back, just like that. Toes back so we don't hurt our toes. Okay, fighting stance, feet forward, hips at a 45. We're bouncing, fists are up. It's going to come, knee straight up, snap out, back and down. And up. Go. Set. Net. And change stance, other side. And up. Instead of striking, it's a push. This is used for creating distance with your opponent. So, starts exactly the same. Comes straight up with the knee, touches the opponent, and then pushes. Less of a strike, more of a push. Gets distance so that we can uh, follow up with a counter. So, comes up, push, and then we can counter. So, we're just working on the push kick for now. Now! ideal right at the hips or right at the belt level we plant that foot push so that we take the center of balance off of our opponent break the hip or break the hip position so that we can counter understood Okay, this time, turning kick, or roundhouse kick. So, turning kick comes from the back leg, from the fighting position. So, what we want to make sure on our turning kick 
is that that front leg pivots. So as long as we have that pivot, that allows our hips to get into the kick and create power. If we don't pivot this leg, we're basically doing a front kick with the side of our foot. So we want to make sure we have a good pivot. So again, like the front kick, leg comes up straight. We pivot, do the turning kick. Now this brings us to the second part of our foot that we're kicking with is the very top or the instep of our foot. And it can come anywhere from the shin all the way down to middle of the foot. And that's where we strike. So with a turning kick, we're in fighting stance, comes up, turns over, and kicks. Okay, in one motion. And up. Change stance, front leg turning kick. Same thing, just comes with the front leg. So, when we do a front leg jumping turning kick, it comes, we step and kick out. So, but we do that in one motion. It comes like so. Allows us to gather distance on our opponent and it kind of doesn't telegraph the kick because it comes hidden in the front leg. So it comes like we're coming to, to kick with the, the back leg and we kick with the front. Okay? Front leg, jump turn and kick. Now! Go! Set! Next! And change stance. Same thing, and up. Go. Set. Next. Okay. Okay, this time we're gonna work on a few turning kick variations on the bag. So, when we're in our fighting stance, a lot of times we get in too close to our opponent, so we can't effectively get a kick off. So, what we want to do is, we want to produce a slide back, create the space, and then a turning kick as a counter. So, all premises the same. Fighting stance, fists up, kicking with the top or instep of our foot. Slide back, either comes straight back to create the most distance, or when they're charging at us, it'll go to a 45 degree angle to create an angle on our opponent so that we're not running backwards. So at this point, we're in close, can't fight, slide back, turning kick. Start with your shoulder against your opponent, and up. Instead of making all that distance, we want to be right quick. So what we do is, from our fighting stance, 45 degree hip, square our hip so that we're facing the opponent, and then turn and kick with the front leg so it just pops out. And this way, we turn the hip over with our kick, heel pointing towards our opponent. So we're in close, again, too close to do a turning kick, so, square our hips, front leg turning kick. This are up. And up. Go. Set. Next. Change 
change that. Enough. Go. Set. Left. Okay. Okay, this time we're gonna do our double turning kicks. So, double turning kicks are really good when your opponent isn't really moving or you can land one kick and you got enough time to land a second. So they come one after the other. The first turning kick usually lands and we wanna use that force to push off for our second turning kick. So they come in quick succession, one, two. Both with the instep of our foot. Okay, fighting stance, fists are up, double turning kicks, and up. And we'll switch each time. Go! Set! Net! Dust! Dust! Okay, this time we're going to use a back turning turning kick or 360 roundhouse or tornado kick. I don't know. People use a lot of different names. I'm old school. It's a back turning turning kick. So the way the back turning turning kick works is we turn to our back. So we do a back turn and then from the back leg a turning kick. So we can break it down into two parts where we do the turn and then the kick. But eventually we're going to do it all in one motion. So first, we start out, fighting stance, fists are up, back turn, and a turning kick. It creates a lot of distance, or you can do it on the retreat. But for this, we're going to do forward. So, turn, and turning kick. And then we're going to do it in one motion. So, and up. And the other way. And up. Go. Set. Net. Okay. Okay, this time we're going to try to break it into one motion. So, what we want to make sure is, when we spin, we don't leave our arms out. Just like a uh, figure skater, tight in, we spin faster. So, we want to keep tight in, we want to do our spin, but before we put that foot down for the turn, our feet is up, we want to jump and do a turning kick. So, it'll look similar to this, fists are up, turn, before it goes down, we do our kick. So we basically switch from the foot up to the foot down and a turning kick. So, one motion. Go! Give myself some more space. Set! And the other way. Remember, tight in, fast turn, before that foot goes down, we jump and turn and kick. And up! Go! Set!
โอเคโอเค this time side kick so the side kick works with another part of our foot the heel of our foot this is potentially the kick that we can generate the most force with in its variations side kick or the backside kick so I want your heel all the way exposed and strike the floor so we get an idea of what it is to strike with the heel Nice and hard, as hard as you can. That's the best kick for that. Okay, so when we're executing the side kick, it comes from the back leg, comes straight up like most kicks. Straight up, then it extends out. So you want to think of it as you're pushing away with your shoulder down and extending with your heel out. So it goes. Like this. Start real low and work your way up. So just get that motion of extending with the heel, extending with the heel, and then we bring it up to the kick. So from the back leg, straight up, extend, and again that back foot or the bottom leg turn. So we point our heel at the target to get maximum extension. Okay. Fists up, fighting stance. Enough. Go. Set. Net. And change stance. Okay. Again. Straight up. Pivot. Extend. Extend. distance as we can without jumping we want to stay low so we want to step either it steps to the center comes up and out or it comes at the same where it comes up and we switch our feet so starts like this again we're landing with the heel of our foot and up and if you want to get a lot of distance you can cross from behind the foot So, remember that good extension. Set. Net. Other way. And up. Go. Set. Okay, this time backside kick or spinning back kick. There's different ways of saying it. So this one is going to come from the back leg. How we're going to do this? It's going to be the same striking point. Our heel has a side kick, but we're going to break it down. So first step in our fighting stance, we're going to shift our heels so they're both pointed at our opponent. Then we're going to look. Then. Side kick. So we want to make sure. Fighting stance. Turn the heel. Look. And back side kick. Full extension. Remember, drop the the shoulder. Extend the heel. Get good full extension. Okay. Fighting stance. And up. Go. And 
Geschichten. Hallo. So. So. Okay, this time we're going to work on an axe kick, but the axe kick, it's best not to hit the bag, so we're just going to graze the bag, just for uh, accuracy. So with the axe kick, again, comes from the fighting stance, it comes straight up with the knee straight up, it kicks out and comes straight down. Ideally, we want to hit with the heel on the way down, but we extend just in case so we can get Another six to eight inches on our strike, just in case we tap the head. So ideally, the axe kick is to the head or to the collarbone. The collarbone only takes 15 to 20 pounds of pressure to break. So it's an easy bone to break. So the axe kick is perfect for this. So instead of kicking the big bag, that's not going to give any give. We're just going to graze the side of it. So from our fighting stance, axe kick comes up and down. Really emphasize the force down in our strike. And up! And graze it, just so we got our accuracy and our distance. Go! Set! Next! Change stance. Okay, this time, jumping axe kick. So it comes from the front leg. Basically, you need some space. You're a little further back. So instead of jumping, we want to stay low. Jumping axe kick comes up, same way. I like to see it come on the inside and then flip out on the outside. So it comes a little bit across the body, okay? Twist her up, and up. close. Next. This is all about the distance. And up. Go. Set. Next. Okay. Okay, this time, spinning hook kick. So, spinning hook kick comes from the back leg. So what we want to do is, same as the back side kick, same as the back turning, turning kick. We want to point our heels at the target. Look at the target and then comes up and across. So ideally again, we want to hit with the heel across the face, but we extend the, the foot so that we add another six to eight inches, depending on how big your foot is. To, uh, to get a little space so we can uh, reach their face. So again, with the sp spinning hook kick, rather than whacking the bag as hard as you can, it doesn't have a lot of give, we just wanna make sure we get our distance and we graze it. So it's just like tapping the nose. So again, fighting stance, turn, look, spinning hook kick. All in one motion. And up! Okay, other way. And up. Go. Set. 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 
Okay. Knee on the ground, and step flat, hands up. Okay, in the center, big horse riding stance, hands on the elbows, pushing out. Hands on the floor, stretching down, straight legs, straight back. Okay, one side, right side. Other side. Okay, center, and extend a little bit further. Hands flat on the ground, elbows if you can. Hold that. Okay, hands back, slowly under control, letting yourself down. And to one side, hold it. And the other side. And to the center. And a little further. Okay, feet together, butterflies, hands on the ankles, push down on the thighs. One foot in, one foot all the way out, all the way forward. And elbow on the ground. To a 45 degree. Okay, other side. To 
to a 45, elbows on the ground. Okay, side to side. Good, standing up. <laughs> 